What up everybody, T-Biz here, and uh, it's like the second time I was going to make this video because I got interrupted anyways. Um, this is some stuff that I got from Culture Pirates at culturepirates.com. I found them through uh, the O'Neill Design Store. They're affiliated with them and uh, on the Culture Pirates site. You can find um, some music from a couple of different bands, if not a few, and uh, some Glios related stuff, hence the sticker. And, um, and yeah. And some pretty cool stuff. Anyways, and yeah, uh, for 20 bucks, I got a pretty good deal. Because um, if you go to the um, O'Neill Design Store and troll around and I uh, forget what uh, what link it was. But if you, if you troll around, click on a few things, you can get linked up to different um, websites and stuff. From different companies that are different people that, uh, that are affiliated with the O'Neill Design Store, the whole Glios related toys and stuff like that and yeah i got hooked up with culture pirates through there and got the Gly zapper dx action set which is pretty cool and i had to write some notes because a lot of stuff for this figure comes with the obviously the full glide figure and um comes with both heads different heads so you got that head you got this one that's kind of reversible which is cool you get the little Glyos pegs, which work with um, Zul Beast, Warlords of War, the God Beasts uh, stuff, like the Nemesis figure and all that, and um, Battle Tribes, Knights of the Slice, probably even the um, Outer Spacemen, Glyos figures and stuff like that, all, all that stuff for the Four Horsemen, all that stuff. You get, um, what else? Get a painted hub set right here, which I believe that's what these are. And then what else? You get joint. You get a joint set. Obviously, there's joints. I guess these would be the hubs. I'm not sure. And do, 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 do you get a traveler scarf? Obviously. And whoop! The sticker fell. I accidentally ripped the sticker open trying to get the package open. But yeah, stupid. But it's a cool sticker. Probably throw it on the guitar. And then you get the Gly Zapper wheels. So somehow I got to figure out. I had to rig up the wheels to the, the, the Gly Zapper, this little dude or whatever. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. For 20 bucks, you get all that stuff. And, yeah, it's not bad at all. And you get these little, um, those little mini bit figs. You got the Faden fig, the Glyos uh, Faden fig or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Let me focus in on that because it's pretty neat. Figured a uh, vampire would probably think these are cool. Because these remind me of the three printed stuff that he's making. Hence the little peg hole and stuff like that. But yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And then they sent me this little guy as an extra. This little... Because the, the bit figs were extras that they sent, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, neat stuff. Really, really neat stuff. And um, I guess, I don't know, this is weird. I guess I'll try to figure out how to attach these wheels since we have the time. It's, uh, maybe we can figure this out. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But I like this little guy. He looks like a little droid. It's pretty cool. Got little appendages and stuff. Everything. Everything can pop off, obviously. The head can pop off. Arms. All these pieces can pop off. These pegs can come out. Everything You can take everything apart and do whatever you want. That's why I like these toys and these figures. Because everything is pretty much removable. As you can see, that can pop off, this can pop off, everything. Pretty decent articulation and stuff. Reversible heads. Comes with a little laser pistol thing. Which could just be an arm for something else or whatever. You could do all kinds of stuff with all these pieces. That's, where, that's really why I like um, all the O'Neill design stuff and the glass related stuff. Because you could do a lot of just different things with them. Customize them. And I've noticed some people on Instagram... Uh, have come up with some cool builds for some of this stuff. It's pretty neat. But let me put these little hub things on here. Maybe we could come up with something. I don't know. Maybe I can't. I don't know. We'll see. Since we have the time. And we may not have any interruptions. <clears throat> Damn. 
Let me do this off camera real quick because it just pegs right to that hole, but kind of. Good golly. It's a good thing about these, though. Sometimes it's kind of. It's a little going to be a tight fit. <clears throat> Got it in, but yeah. But it does spin, so that's cool. Whew, man, that was a booger just to get that in there. Yeah, it goes right in there, but I have to do this off camera because I got to really use some man muscle to get that in there. Oh, geez. All right, just bear with me. It's a good thing though these uh take a minute to fit on cuz you don't want them too loose. But uh But that's cool. Now you have some little wheels for your little droid guy or whatever he is. A little glide zapper dude. So you got some wheels, so that's cool. And I guess I could put the other wheels on them too just for the heck of it. You see where would they go? I guess they would have to go like, yeah. You know, have to take off the arms. <clears throat> Man, that is a tight fit. Give me a minute. Well, if you have seven minutes to waste, you have seven minutes to waste. Oh, let me see. Let me try to get this back on here. Oh, man. There we go. So now you got some kind of little car thing now you can make out of them. So that's kind of cool. I don't know, but that's just some stuff you can do with these um, O'Neill design stuff. I actually got these from Culture Pirates, but yeah, either way, it's cool stuff. I like it. And you could probably build something totally, completely different with all these pieces, and I need to do that. That'd be pretty awesome, but yeah. Or you could attach the peg to his back or whatever, and you could have just, I don't know, cool, like, little, uh, little escape, uh, little escape car thing like say he's like getting attacked by somebody plop on his back woo, roll away so that'd be pretty cool actually let's do that it'd be kind of neat let me see let me peg his back give me a minute yeah these pegs are kind of these pegs are tight but you get the idea <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah you got to put some work i would suggest getting um maybe some four and one oil or a little bit of soap to get the pegs in because they're pretty tight it's pretty hard you got to really really go for it get the pegs in i guess i could pull it off yeah let me, let me try it wouldn't be worthy of you if you didn't try it at least let's give it a good old Man. Hold on, give me a second. This might not work, but I want to at least give it a try. All right. So cool. He's got like a little backpack thing right here, pretty much. So, say he's doing battle, it's got to get away quick, gets on his back. And, uh, and rolls away, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty neat. I don't know, I like it. I dig it, it's cool. But yeah, that's a look at the Glide Zapper DX set from Culture Pirates via the O'Neill Design Store. But yeah, it's pretty cool. 
get one if uh, they're they're pretty much a low stock right now it says but they're 20 bucks and they still have them so even though it's a low stock item but they still have it but yeah i think it's a worthy toy and worthy figure pretty cool anyways thanks for stopping by y'all and thanks for putting up with this 10 minute video <laughs> it's a bit long i know but oh well just something to do on a sunday night so have a little fun and expose some folks to you know some toys they probably never heard of or may have who knows but anyways thanks for watching y'all and yeah more glios related stuff definitely on the way for sure and more toy reviews and stuff awesome thanks y'all have a good night peace